Hey guys, welcome back to another round of uh, exercise videos right from home. Today we're going to be focusing on a lower body workout with no extra equipment, just your own body weight. As you guys can probably see from some of my Instagram posts, things are looking a little bit different over here. So we are um, actually pregnant and we are in our second trimester. So some of the workouts will be adjusted, but luckily for lower body workout, there is no adjustment that is going to be needed. So um, just be mindful again, make sure exercise is safe for you before you begin. If you have any questions, reach out to your family doctor if it is right for you to begin. So I'm gonna get our music going here and we're gonna focus on some lower body workouts. Okay, so first what we wanna do, make sure you have something to drink, hydration, rest as often as you need. Uh, we're gonna actually just gonna warm up that lower body. We're gonna do uh, 20 second intervals of um, some high knees, jogging on the spot, some bum kicks, just to get warmed up, okay? So make sure you have space, put on shoes if you want. I'm gonna go barefoot today. So here we go, we're gonna start with 20 seconds of some high knees, here we go. Ten more seconds. I'm just gonna turn up our music. All right, in three, two, one. We're just gonna jog on the spot. So you can see my high knees are not as high as they used to be, right? So you can make some modifications if you need. And then three, two, one. We're going to bum kicks. So nice and light on your feet, kicking your bum. Good work. Back to just jogging on the spot for 20. Jogging on the spot for 20. Five more seconds. We're going back to some high knees. Here we go. Nice and high. Going for 20 seconds. Just watch out. Don't trip on your mat. It's starting to roll on you. Here we go, three more seconds. And just, we're gonna jog on the spot. Come on, just keep that body moving. Keep your heart rate elevated. 10 more seconds of jogging on the spot. And we're gonna finish our warm up with a 20 second bum kick. Three, two, one. Bum kicks. So again, nice and light on your toes, kicking your bum. We want to increase our heart rate, increase the blood flow to that lower body. All right, we're gonna focus on lower body workouts today. So proper warm up, super important. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. All right, so we are going to pair a few movements together for lower body. So again, focusing just on our own body weight. So first combination is we're gonna go in from a squat. So feet about shoulder width apart. So down into a squat, your bum's going back behind you. From here, we're gonna shift our weight to one side. We're gonna do a leg lift. So careful not to teapot as you do it. So if you're down into a squat, you're just lifting the leg as high as you can. We're gonna alternate for 10, back and forth. Right after that, we're gonna go into a curtsy lunge. So again, starting in about this hip width apart position, we're stepping back with one foot, down into a curtsy together, and then alternate for 10 back and forth. So go as deep as you can tolerate. And then to keep our heart rates elevated, for 20 seconds afterwards, we're gonna do some high knee lateral shuffles from one side of our mat. So up nice and high to the other. So go whatever distance you have. I'm gonna to try to stay on the screen for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps of each alternating sides. Here we go. Feet about shoulder width apart, down into a squat and a leg lift. Squat, other side. Good, there's three, four, five. Put your bum back, six, good, seven, eight, Good, nine and 10, right into curtsy. So feet about shoulder width apart, stepping back and down. 
stepping back and across for two. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Get nice and deep if you can. Eight, nine. Last one for 10. Good. Okay. Here we go. 20 seconds from one end of the mat to the other. Nice and high with those knees. Coming across and then off to the other side. So again, 20 seconds here. You want to keep your heart rates elevated throughout this workout. I think that dog might be making an appearance soon. Five more seconds. And time. Okay. Quick, like 10 second, 15 second break. Just to grab a sip of water or your hydration. Or for me today, strawberry fist stick. Okay, now that we know the movements, we're gonna do it again, okay? So here we go. Feet about shoulder width apart. Getting into that squat position. You're going down into a squat with that leg lift, good. Again, we're going for 10, two, three, four, five, there's six, seven, nice and deep in those squats, bum goes back. I think that's eight. I think I lost count. Nine. Might as well do two more for good luck. Because I got to finish on the other side. Good. Right into those curtsies. We're going to take a little step forward. Step back. And across. Nice and deep. Really targeting that glute as we come down. And squeeze. There's four. Halfway. Six. Last one, good, 20 seconds, side to side to get on the edge of your mats, reset our timer, 20 seconds, here we go, bring those knees up and across, so again, trying to keep our heart rates elevated as we're doing this lower body workout, giving us a double benefit through our exercise, a couple more seconds here. Good. Time. Good work, good work. Get yourself a little bit of a sip of water. And we're going to move right into our third set. That's right. We're going to repeat this combo one more time. And then we're going to move in to another combination of exercises. So again, quick sip of water if you need. If you don't need a rest break, jog on the spot. Bring your knees up. Kick your bum. Keep your heart rates elevated. Okay, set number three, finishing it off strong. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Here we go, down into your squat with a leg lift. So again, you're not turning into a teapot, right? So you're not tipping. You're only gonna raise as high as you can off to the side. There's for six, all the way to 10. There's eight, good, nine. And 10, right into your curtsy. So take a little step forward if you need for space so you don't kick the wall behind you or anyone behind you. Good, there's three, four, five. Try to keep your postures nice and tall. Six, and eight. Two more, and 10, perfect. We are gonna do that 20 second shuffle back and forth. So again, on at one edge of your mat, here we go. 20 seconds. Keep those feet up if you can, nice and high. If you just need to alternate because it's the third set and do a little shuffle, I get it, it's fine. But try to push yourself as best as you can. A few more seconds and time. All right, you get a quick rest break as we review our second group of exercises. So. Again, if you need a sip of water, if you need to sit down and rest, that's totally all right. Okay, so what we're going to do in this next round, a modification on the squat. We're going to do a sumo squat. So if you look at my foot positioning, we're nice and wide. And my toes are actually angled out at about 45 degree angle. 
So when we come down into a sumo, your knees are gonna be pushing back and out. You don't want them collapsing forward. Okay, so from this position in a sumo, your hips are getting pushed forward, your knees are going back. So we're gonna go down into that sumo and we're just gonna do a knee raise. So sumo, alternate knee raise. So sumo and knee raise. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is a convict. So your hands are gonna go behind your head and you're actually gonna step down on your knees. Whatever knee you step down on is the knee you're gonna come back up on. So we're gonna do five on one side and then we're gonna do five on the other for 10, okay? And to keep our heart rates up here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a jump floor touch. So we're gonna start with that hip width apart. We're gonna jump out and touch the floor and in. So we're gonna do that for 20 seconds. All right, everybody ready? Starting with those sumos. So nice and wide with your feet. So wider than a regular squat. Toes pointed out about 45 degrees. Hips are pushing forward, knees are pushing back. Here we go. Down into that squat, knee raise, down, knee raise. Good. Three, four. There's six. Watch your balance. Go as slow as you need. We're going all the way to 10. I think this is 10. Always lose count. Okay, next up, convicts. Hands behind your back. Here we go, down on one knee. Up on that same knee. We're doing five on each leg. Good, two. Try to keep your posture nice and tall. Four. One more on this side and we're switching to the other leg. All right, left leg, stepping back and then down. You might find one side a little bit harder than the other. That's okay. We're at three, all the way to five on each leg. This one's five, good. Setting up for 20 second jump with the floor touch. So feet about shoulder width apart to start. I'm gonna reset my stopwatch. 20 seconds, here we go. Jumping out and touching the floor. So nice and light on your feet. Halfway there. Five seconds. And time. All right, giving you guys a, another, you know, 10, 15 second rest break. My dogs are laying right in front of me, sleeping, as I'm doing all the work. Okay, we're gonna go through this again. I think we're gonna do one more set of this one here just to keep your workout between 10 and 15 minutes. If you want to go ahead and do a third, go ahead and do a third, but I promised you like 10, 15 minutes. So here we are. We're going to go right into those sumos again. So nice and wide with your feet. Okay. So again, knees going back, hips going forward, toes about 45 degrees down into the squat, knee raise for 10. Four. There's six. We're at eight. Two more. Last one for 10. Good work. Set yourself up for convict. So hands on the back of your head, feet shoulder width apart. Stepping back, down on that knee. Whew. Careful with your balance as you make your way back up. So again, I'm actually in my second trimester. These are all safe to do because we're not overstretching the abdominals. We're not putting too much emphasis on the abs. And I've done exercise before I was pregnant, so all safe for me to do. If you have questions about exercise, clear it with your family doctor. Feet, shoulder width apart, other side. Again, we're doing five on each leg. I'm sure you feel those quads burning. 
There's three. Soft on those knees. One more. Good work. Finishing with those 20 second jump squats that are floor touching. And then reset our stopwatch. We're going for 20 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice and light on your feet. We want you to touch the floor, but keep your upper body as tall as you can. Go as quick as you like. You got 10 more seconds to go. Three, two, and one, and done. There is your body weight, lower body workout. Feel free to add in that third set today if you want. But again, promise you about 10, 15 minute workout today. And that's where I'm gonna end it for you guys. So thanks again for joining me. Stay tuned for more workouts coming to you in the next little while. Take care.